don't go out there raw dog people and then like you can't get your side chick you can't get that side chick so you want to come in this space and i'm not knowing what you're doing and you raw dogging me like that's chlamydia right there that's you know hpv right there that's aids right there baby like you can rush and roulette with your life but don't bring that over here <laughs>
and you can add some light in with it and while you're going down you know make it be a little pink a little purple you know fuchsia You know we got going without black, right? Yeah, we got going without our black. So you're gonna take your wet and wild pencil, alright, and draw a line right across there. And I'm trying. Okay, you ready? You ready? Remember to draw it as light as possible at first, okay? And if you don't really like it, then you can always like put some color over it and try to blend it out. Don't press too hard, girl, because it's not if you make a little mistake, you know what I'm saying? Okay, okay. So press as light as possible. And then, like, if it's exactly how you want it to be, then you can go a little bit deeper. Okay, but... Yeah. I'm gonna go in with the e.l.f. black pomade because it's like way easier than using the black pencil and your little flat brush and you're gonna make little hills or trees or whatever you want to call it I would just be like little hills and I mean like while we continue this right um if you know that you have an issue with monogamy okay monogamy meaning for those of you who are like all confused about the terms out here in these streets like i am monogamy meaning like you can't be just faithful to one person if you know deep down inside you still got a little you know wildness in you and you don't want to be faithful to one person let that person know what it is you know what i mean let that person know what it is because you going out here and cheating with people trust me you might boot up with the wrong somebody cheat on the wrong somebody and end up six feet either swimming with the fishes or you know what i mean playing dominoes with the maggots i'm just saying okay now you don't know who is who i don't suggest you go out there and cheat on nobody and then think that magic word called sorry is gonna like get you up out of whatever situation you don't put yourself in okay so don't do it don't do it don't do it i watched a video the other day of this neighbor and his wife and they were like you know um arguing with their neighbor right and that guy got so pissed off because they were telling him oh you moved into the wrong neighborhood we about to make your life a living hell he's like what did you just say he said you heard me mfp you know what i mean the little cat we about to make your life a living effing hell. The guy said, oh really? He walked to his garage, came back out, and shoot the man and his wife. Let me tell you something now. You don't know who these people is that you're with. Like, you might get with somebody and you think you can push their buttons, yo. You think you can push their buttons and you might wind up not just catching these hands, but catching bullets, okay? And we all know you ain't bulletproof. So, what that means for you is, be honest with the person that you're in a relationship with. Be honest with these people that you're in relationships with because, like I said, you don't know who you might involve yourself with. And, yeah, you don't know how much that person can take or if that person has been in situations similar to that and just can't take no more. Okay, so maybe my suggestion is don't go around playing with people's emotions and people's health. Like Derek Jackson your wife is one of them calm 
people, and my mama always say it's the quiet ones you should worry about. You see them people that argue a whole ton, you know what I mean? They liable to tell you what they're going to do to you. But them quiet MFs, them is the ones that you're supposed to be side-eyeing and be like, ooh, if I do this, what going to happen? Right? She took it so easy. I'm like, bro, I pray to God your woman don't hear something that push her over the edge because we about to hear her on the first 48. Okay? Like, there are times that you can use this word, but this word I just can't stand. Sorry. Nigga, don't tell me sorry, okay? Especially if you know. Especially if you know that what you are doing is something that I have said that, you know, is a, is a deal breaker for me. You know what I mean? Don't come and tell me no kind of sorry. I don't want to hear sorry from nobody. You feel me? Have the decency to not do that thing. Because if I let you know that this is the type of person that I am and cheating is just not it's a no for me and you go out there and you mess around and you do that don't come back and tell me sorry because I'm not taking sorry I'm not taking sorry like in my past relationships I've been told sorry and the only thing that I said after that was deuces and I mean I can do bad all by myself baby I'm not about this life okay the type of person I am I demand respect I don't know who you are I don't know what you demand but I demand respect because the type of person I am, I give respect. You know what I'm saying? I give respect. So if I give you respect, I expect respect. You understand? That's a play on words, baby. That's, that's a play on words, okay? If I give you respect and you don't have the decency to give that back to me, you got a problem. We're not compatible, for one. And two, that's not where it's at. Like, yeah, we got some issues and yeah, this ain't, this ain't finna work, baby. This is not gonna work at all. If you cheat on your man, 90% of the time, he's not going to stay with you. Or if he does stay with you, he's going to constantly bring that thing up, okay, and basically dog you out, okay? Now, if a woman squands you, the man who cheated on her, I don't see nothing wrong with that. I don't see nothing wrong with that, because first of all, you gave what's supposed to be mine to somebody else. That's the ultimate disrespect. Ultimate disrespect. And we don't do that around here. Okay, so I did a little, you know, chakra, you know, zen type of thing, you know, like new to me, okay? And some raindrops, you know, raindrops falling on my window, okay, then kind of thing. So I got seven different brushes to put these seven different chakra um, colors because I'm not with the wiping off and all them things, 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 you know what I'm saying? Oh, they're not doing a check in, you know, there's a good look at check in, you know what I'm saying? 
So, it's just not normal to me. For you to go out there, do your dirt, and then think that everything gonna be all right when you come home. You know, you're gonna, you can always clean the edges with some Mercillier water, whatever you call that. Don't worry about the fallout, girl. It's all right. It's all right. You know what I mean? Don't, don't expect the person that you're with, you know, to just take you back after you done said sorry. Like, if your woman, you know, cheated on you, I'm gonna direct this to the fellas because it's, you know, it's the guys who are here doing the most notorious cheating, you know what I mean? And expect us to take them back, okay? Now, the women, you know, if a woman goes out and cheats and stuff, like, you have to have a real ride or die shorty, aka fella, to stick with you, right? Because a man, would not stay with his woman after she done give up his goods to somebody else. So we gonna direct this to the fellas, okay? When y'all go out, all right? Help me, help me to understand this. When y'all go out and y'all give away our goods to people, okay? Other females out there, all right? And you realize, okay, the, the, the grass ain't really green on the other side. She just good for that one time, okay? But my, my, my girl, you know what I mean? Oh crap. In the words of Lil Wayne, after he come, he comes to his senses, okay? It don't seem like you should, like, you know, think it out, think it through. No. You wait until after you finish coming, then, you know, then you think of, oh, crap. What kind of gift can I buy her for her to forgive me? Like, what has she always been talking about that she won't? You know what I mean? Like, the gifts ain't always it, baby. It's not always it. Like, you know, we will take the gifts, you know what I mean? Because there's always a pawn shop that we can go and get that money after we, you know, you know what I'm saying, right? But the gifts, the gifts are tired, baby, okay? What we want is respect, okay? We want to have bragging rights, you know? I know you football players and basketball players, you know, when your team wins consecutively, you know, you got bragging rights, you know what I mean? Ain't nobody can say that their team is better than your team because, you know what I mean, you got receipts, okay? Like, my team has been just laying it out, okay? So, yeah, I know, I know, I know I can depend on my team to come through on this bet because I bet me, like, $500 on my team winning, you know what I mean, something to something, and my team delivers. Like, we women want bragging rights to say that our man, we can let you, you know, release you into the wild, okay? And ain't nobody can piss on this tree. Because, baby, this tree belongs to me. You get that? That's a plain words, baby. That's a plain word. When you come back from doing your dirt and things and think that sorry is going to cool hot water, you know, newsflash, baby. No, it's not. Okay? Put your hand in a pot of boiling hot water and tell your hand sorry and tell me if instantly your hands stop hurting you. And if it instantly stops hurting you, then fine. You can go out and do all the cheating you want. Okay, but if you put your hand in that hot pot of water, you tell your hand, sorry, and your hand still throbs and hurts because it's cold and hot, baby, that's how we feel. When y'all go out there and y'all stick your peckers in the wrong hole, but it's that love, it's that mutual respect, it's that, you know, it's that, you know what I mean? Don't act like a woman can't do without you. And ladies, don't act like a man can't do without you, okay? This goes both ways. I'm not taking nobody's side. I'm on the side of what is right is right. Cheating is wrong. It ain't never finna be right in my eyes. So if you know that you are out there doing dirt, you know, I suggest that you stop, partner, because you fixing to lose your happy home, okay? Just like some people hunt for sport, some people hunt for food because it's, it's, it's necessary, you know what I mean? But y'all out here just cheating just for sport. You know what I mean? Just to say that you can bag a shorty. You know? And you might have a woman that's just not going to take that first sorry. Like me. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, if my man cheat on me, that's a wrap. That's a wrap. There ain't no coming back from that, okay? That's a wrap. Like, I've been cheated on one time in my past. Okay, his friend came and told me, okay, about the dirt that he was doing because a friend thought that I was one of them stupid little girls that, you know, if you come and, you know, feed me sweet nothings that, you know, out of spite, I would, you know, give him the goods. 
But no, baby, you came and you told me when God made you come and tell me, okay? Because everything that's in the dark gotta come out to the light. So I wasn't looking for nothing, okay? His friend came and told me that, all right? Now, after the friend told me that, I asked him simply if what the friend said, you know, was what it is, tell me. And he got really offensive. And let me tell you something, when you get offensive or you get real quiet, I start to question your motives, baby, okay? If you get offensive, what you getting offensive for? If it ain't the truth, you know what I mean? If I know that you and me supposed to be on a level, you know what I mean, talk to each other about certain things and, and you playing games with me. You know, it's a wrap. Don't come and tell me sorry. Don't come and give me gifts. Don't come and try and, you know, manipulate me. Cause that's just gonna make me get even more pissed off. And you know, when I'm pissed off, I, I try to control myself. But that's why I walk away. You know what I mean? That's why I need my space when I'm pissed off. Because if I stay around you, you know, one of us gonna end up in jail. And it might just be me. And I mean, it just, I will violate you. You know what I mean? It's not like I want to. You know, it's not like I want to. But if I say I need my, my space so I can think and then we come back and we chop it up, do that, bro. Give me some space, okay? Don't be all up in my space and telling me, oh, we need to talk this out. You're not going to leave. whoop de woo <laughs> Ooh, it's going to be on like Donkey Kong. It's going to be a problem. It's going to be a serious problem. So just let me go and let me just, yeah. Yeah. Derek Jackson's wife. Baby, I don't know how. You have reached another level of calm. This right here is for Derek Jackson's wife and sweetie. The level of calm these sisters be on I rage y'all, cause baby, baby, my younger self would have done some things. I probably would have put some salt in his gas tank. You know what I mean? I probably would have put some sand in the gas tank and start a car. You know what I'm saying? I probably would have just turned the key to the ignition and just leave it turned and just, you know, damage the engine. You know what I mean? That's the younger me. But the older me right now understands where this kumbaya, you know, that business comes from. I totally understand it. And that's playing the game very wise because going to jail, it don't do nothing but cause problems. You know what I mean? The way Sweetie handled it when he took that car back, she was like, you know what I mean? Take care. I, I appreciate women like Sweetie. And Derek Jackson's wife, I appreciate these women because it's no longer, you know, they're not bothered. They saying basically men will be men, you know what I mean? They will just be themselves. Like there ain't nothing you can do to make a man act right. You know what I mean? A man who wants to be kept will be kept. You know what I mean? He will, he will act right and not do nothing to jeopardize his home. You know, girls who out there and just doing all type of things for these men to stay with them. Like, it's not it's not working. It's not working, sis. Don't have no extra kid for him because he ain't finna stay, okay? A baby is not gonna make a cheating man stay. If anything, it's gonna make him wanna run to his side piece even more, okay? Because a woman thinks about her baby in her heart and a man thinks about that baby in his head, okay? So what he's thinking is, okay, this is another mouth that I gotta feed. And what that makes him do is freak out, you know, you putting extra um, financial burdens on the family, so he's going to go to that side piece even more. You know what I mean? Just don't do it, sis. Don't, don't have no more kids for that man. Don't, don't even try to have a kid for that man because at the end of the day, he don't want no, he don't want no extra responsibilities. He don't want no extra responsibilities. And for that side chick that got pregnant for Derek Jackson, okay? I know people are going to say abortion is bad, but sis, you did the right thing by not involving yourself in this crazy entanglement. And that sad, you know, puppy dog thing that he does to like make you feel bad for like, you know, aborting the baby or whatever. Yeah, who cares how he feels? Because at the end of the day, as you can see what he's doing to his wife, okay, that's not something you want, baby. That is not something you want. All right. Um. So yeah, all the females out there who's ever been cheated on or is being cheated on, okay, don't argue, don't fight, just, we gonna call it, we gonna handle this like Sweetie and like Mrs. Jackson, okay, hit him with a Mrs. Jackson, you know what I mean, just keep it cute and put it on mute, 
or hit them with a sweetie okay take care you feel me we not into this arguing with another female or man that should know what this is about no we're not gonna do that what <laughs> we have elevated in life okay we have morphed into something more beautiful okay this zen right here you're not gonna take this from us no you ain't <laughs> no you ain't we learn from our mamas and our grandmamas we're not gonna do that we're not gonna fight for a man okay that won't fight for us you feel me okay uh back to the video all right guys so this is the final product all right and this is just a little you know it's different for me it's different for me okay um so much cheating going on nowadays you know you gotta just you gotta just woosa and be your zen you know bring yourself back to yourself okay don't let nobody take you out of your character okay i understand that you once had this relationship with this person but if that person can't be monogamous with you okay if it can't just be the two of you all right if y'all can't just be on a level with each other then y'all need to let go of each other so that you can find your person okay now to the people who out there cheating you know and just risking the lives of the person that you claim that you love all right out there raw dogging it with people all right random people and then coming back home to your loved one all right and basically raw dogging your loved one like baby mm. yeah that's wrong okay nothing about that is right okay what if you bring back a disease for your wife or what if you bring back a disease for your husband you know what i mean y'all don't think about these things all right, if you want to go out there and risk your life, fine. Risk your life, but don't come back home with that. Don't do it, don't do it, all right? And if you know that you're going to eventually have to say sorry to that person that you claim that you love, don't do it, okay? Do not do it. Leave that person alone. Tell them straight up that you want something different than what they want in life. You know, you guys separate, aka divorce, move on, and, you know, find your greener pastures, but don't try to have your cake and eat it too, baby. It's not right. It's not right. It's not right. For the Quavos out there, all right, if you know that your way of apologizing for cheating is to buy your loved one a gift, all right, and when that person does not reciprocate the, you know, the same feelings, you get hurt and you go and take that gift back, okay, you're going to get double the karma because you're taking back a gift, all right, upon the cheating. That's two times the karma for you, honey. Okay, you can do all the good in the world, but karma, she gonna sit on that thing that you want the most, all right? And, uh, yeah. Yeah. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and smush that bell notification button so that you can get more videos from me. All right, make better choices in life, people. Okay, see you later.